Welcome everyone to the winter edition of the Big Red Barn Antiques Show in Round Top, Texas. This is um, the American Brilliant Cut Glass Booth by Hobstar.com. I am Franz Helwig, and everything here is for sale at a real antique show. And this virtual show is just as if you were here. If you have any questions, would like to purchase an item, or uh, would like high-resolution photos of any particular item, please email me at franzwig, F-R-A-N-Z-W-I-G, at C-O-X dot net, franzwig at cox dot net. And we'll begin over here on the end with this magnificent 20-inch tall trumpet vase. I'm unsure of the maker, but it's an incredibly high quality blank and cutting. Great faceted knob above the foot. The uh, foot is cut in probably a 32 or 36 point hob star. The piece is 20 inches tall and 2,950. Next to it is this magnificent sunburst pattern by Pitkin and Brooks two-part punch bowl. Beautiful blank, really well cut. And love the way it presents in display. It's currently $2,000. I'm wholesaling it at 16 inches tall, but it's on hold. We have a 12-inch tray in the Sylvan pattern by um, Libby. It's shown exactly in their catalog. Very pretty copper wheel engraving, nice cross-hatched rim, and that's a deal at only $295. It's signed. Probably one of the rarest and most exquisite pieces I have currently is this Hawks 9-inch diameter um, bowl cut in Imperial, aka Triple Miter Trellis. Very thick blank, deeply studded out hob stars. Great quality, and it is 6500 Here's a magnificent 18-inch tall flaring rimmed vase by Sinclair. Wonderful cutting. Nice combination piece. Hob stars, great copper wheel engraving. Modified hob stars in the body, and it is 3800 It's the only one like it I've ever seen. Here's a tricolor cylinder cologne. It is cranberry cut to a Vaseline yellow, clear stopper. I had a smaller version of this at the fall show and it sold. And this seven inch tall one is $18.95. Excuse me, $18.95. Strauss Octing and Diamond yellow cut to clear wine stem has the St. Louis Diamond stem portion. Circa 1893. It is shown in the Strauss Macy catalog. It is $350. And then here is one of my favorites, a 19 and a half inch tall, 14 and a quarter inch diameter tulip shaped punch bowl. It has lovely stone cut engraved florals on the bulging rim, hollow diamond stem portion below the faceted neck ring. Really well cut masterpiece. It is 6,500. It, uh, it is shown in Pearson's book, Encyclopedia. And at one point, Sam Story, who is a former president of the American Cut Glass Association, had this in his collection. I have a great pair of corset-shaped um, colognes. They have sterling stoppers in a pagoda-type shape. Really fine quality, and again, the stoppers are sterling. The pair is $7.95. Here's a 14 and a quarter inch tall Hawks uh, green cut to clear or green threaded to clear vase. It's copper wheel engraved. The blank was made by the Stuben division of Hawks. They were known for the green threading. Very finely done, great work. The vase is $8.95. I have the solid amethyst engraved vintage pattern water goblets by Pearpoint. Uh, it, it's very finely engraved in the vintage pattern. A lot of detail work on the leaves and the grapes. 
solid stem six and a quarter inches tall and they are $4.95 each and I actually have six of these available currently and all always a favorite one one pattern is this Russian and pillar nine inch bowl very thick very heavy wonderfully carved out teardrop tusks best metal blank and it is again nine inches in diameter and it is 2150 I personally love this punch bowl it uh, is amazing quality again I like the pedestal because it's unusual it presents the bowl in display great cane cutting wonderful hob stars just a lovely all-around piece one of the nicest examples I've had in a while 14 inches in diameter it is 1995 here's a classic blowout by Hawks in their Kuhnor pattern it is 10 inches in diameter uh, very scarce hard to find high high quality very deeply cut clear miters in between each of the Hopstar blowouts 10 inches is a nice size to $24.95 this is one I'm on the fence about keeping actually it's the nicest horseshoe cutting I have ever seen by far best metal blank superb sharp cutting 9 inches in diameter um, possibly by Bergen someone suggested that and that's very likely and it is $6.95 Here's another giant piece. It's a 20 inch tall uh, rolled rim vase. It is cut in the Agnes pattern by William Anderson. It's just magnificent. Joint punty hollow diamonds. Swirl around the florals. Faceted um, ball around above the foot and then a scallop top star base all the bells and whistles very um, impressive rarity and it is $34.95 here's a great example by Strauss one of the nicest pieces I've ever seen done by them it's a primrose pattern vase has a magnificent sterling rim nicely well nicely done sterling really cut to pieces as far as the pattern goes uh, the pattern is pictured on page 14 of the Strauss Macy catalog the vase is 16 inches tall and 8 inches in diameter and it is 3800 one of a kind as far as I know it's the first time I've ever seen it and there's uh, a photo of the Hawks factory on Market Street in Corning New York and it's still there uh, I think it's an office building now but it's pretty cool to travel up there and see it which I do once or twice a year okay in the background we have a wonderful dessert set or cake set whatever the case may be um, it's in the apple pattern by pear point it has a 13 inch master tray and six seven inch plates or almost bowls if you want to call them that and a great gravic design deeply carved out engraving very well done the set is $21.95 I probably have not owned one of these in 15 years really nice quality next to it I have a Val St. Lambert cranberry cut to clear dessert or finger bowl set the set is $2.95 it's cut primarily in cane but they also have great um, clear tusks crossing in the plate here's a really nice gooseneck decanter it's well cut as a double gooseneck with facet cutting on the balls exactly pattern cut stopper and triple diamond cut snake handle uh, height on this I think is 14 inches tall and that's a show bargain at $250 and that will do part one of the winter video show stay tuned or 
click on the link for part two.